Hola amigas, I'm Alice. And I'm Greg. And today we have a very fun episode for you. Today we're going to be trying some Mexican snacks. And anybody who knows me knows my nickname is... Snackula. Snackula, yes, that's it. I am particularly snacky after dark. I really enjoy when I'm traveling to be able to try different snacks. I like to see how Egypt does chips or Spain or um, Argentina. And today, since we're in Mexico, we're gonna see how Mexico does chips and other salty snacks. Okay, here we go. Churro maiz, churro maiz llamas. Let's hear the crunch. They're spicy. They taste a little Ooh. bit like Takis. Ooh, they're so good. It has a texture like that, like chow mein. Chow mein, dried chow mein noodles. Yeah. I am talking with my mouth open. I mean, with my, I'm talking with my mouth full. <laughs> right. um, Talk with your mouth closed. <laughs> I don't think they're especially hot. I guess yeah, maybe they're not as hot as like Takis. That's the gold standard for spicy. Yeah, this is good. It has like a little afterburn. These are a little bit different flavor. It's called Rancheritos. El Mero Mero Sabor Ranchero. Different. They're mm. it's a strange, smoky. Yeah, it's smokier. Like mm -hmm. maybe there's cumin or something in it. You'll feel like you're at a cookout in the in Campo. Tastes a little dusty. Yeah, you might have a little <laughs> dust in with your meat. Everybody likes that. Mm -hmm. Adds to the flavor. These are very mild, I would say. Yeah. Not at all spicy. These would be if good for guacamole. If you're just a, a beginner eating chili, I broke into these. I've already tasted them. They're called wampas. Wampas. So I'm gonna let <laughs> I'm gonna let Greg wampas. taste them. Wampas. Like, wampas. Like, wampas. Good looking. Let's see. Good crunch. Good crunch. <laughs> unusual. Know, it's, it's an unusual flavor. It's kind of like tomato-y, but it also has a really weird spice to it. Mm -hmm. What is it? I couldn't put, I, I couldn't figure out what it was. It's got Amarillo numero cinco. All right, these are unusual. These are called nopalia. Churritos hechos con nopal fresco. So Ooh. these are churritos with fresh cactus. But, all right, you get to go first on these. So these, wow. They're like gusanitos. Yeah, they're really, they're kind of strange. Um, it's vaguely phallic. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no, I hope not. <laughs> okay, they're no, really not strange. The size, I mean, the shape. Okay. And I look at that weird texture, I hope they're not phallic. It's got like stuff growing all over it. But, okay, um, I'm going for it. <laughs> Enough talk. Ooh, silence. Mm. Stunned silence. I'm trying to figure it out. So it's got a tang, but it's not a lemon tang. It's a it's different- It's that sour, this little bit of sourness that you get when you eat fresh nopal. Good. It's good, yeah. Definitely strong recommend on this yeah. one. I've never had them before, nopalia. This looks like it's not gonna have a subtle profile. As you can tell from the flames coming off of the illustration. Is it packy? Paketaki. Ooh, are you ready for these? Very unusual. Look at these. These are like waffle chips. They're right. they're kind of puffy. They're very light. What do you think it's gonna be? Like rice, like a rice cracker? Oh, wow, yeah. Mm. Very think, different from everything else we've Yeah, tasted. because I think the uh, flavor of the cracker is so light that it really makes the other spices just, ooh, they come right to the forefront. Yeah. Exactly what you said about like the, the nopal ones were very subtle. These are the opposite. Yeah, They're, it's the all about the flavors up, yeah. on top. Yeah, what are those? These are those are churritos? Churritos. churritos. Okay, but they're not just plain churritos. They're churritos con amaranto con chile. Oh, so it's so, got amaranth and chili. And they're called paquis. And even though everything has chili, thank you. Everything has chili. All the chili doesn't taste the same. It's all like different blends. And um, each thing has its own unique profile. 
I'm detecting notes of nothing on this one. <laughs> like, okay. I can't taste either corn or, yeah, I'm not a fan. Nope. Try something okay. in a different color pack. The big, big boys. Cheeks. Cheeps jalapeno. Okay, this I would consider a classic potato chip with just jalapeno flavor. Not super greasy. It's a thick potato chip. Yeah. Not a thin Lay's potato chip. It's a good crunch. And um, yeah. And also, I mean, it's not, it doesn't, because it's a heavier potato chip, maybe some of you prefer the little bit greasier, puffier, and lighter chip. But I actually think this is a really good chip for dips. Mm. And it's also great. It's got really good flavor on its own. And it's a sneaky chip. You're gonna eat it and you're gonna think like, I can't taste the habanero, or I can't taste the jalapeno in it. And um, you'll taste it. Although it's not like super like flavorful like some of the other ones we've had. The flavor is more subtle. It's great for like pairing with a sandwich or yeah. I'd, something I'd on the side. I put this into firmly into the category of classic potato mm -hmm. chip. Chipotles, chipotles, sabor chipotle y queso. <laughs> Mexico, <laughs> Mexico es una chulada de Ooh, país. Ooh, look at look, the color on these. And first of all, something I find unusual is they're exactly the same shape. It's just kind of this. Like, is it like a Pringles it's thing? Like a little quotation mark, or an amoeba. Or a kidney. I like this one. <laughs> okay, they're cute, but they don't have a lot of flavor. It does burn a little bit, but there's not a lot of salt on it. So, mm. if you don't like super salty snacks, that might be for you. Okay, now we're coming oh up, God, we're coming up on chips. some classics here. Well, this one actually is not. I'm gonna confess that my favorite adobadas our sabritas, which we do not have here. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, Check. these are adobadas, so adobo flavoring, adobo spices. Um, got some chili, some tomato. Again, I feel like they're very dependable. This company knows how to make chips where they're really thick. This flavor is good. Mm -hmm. They're just classic potato yeah. chips. Oh my God. One more. Okay. This one is called, okay, I'm not mispronouncing it. It's Nopalia Chilpotle, not Chipotle, Chilpotle. Churritos. Because it's chill. It's probably a little bit chill. Oops. Not super strong, maybe. Maybe, no, I think it's, it's got chile. Churritos hechos con nopal fresco, but it's the same shit. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's the same <laughs> stuff. Again, these look different. No. Kind of ugly to look at. They don't look appetizing. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're still pretty good. Mm. Not sure which ones I like better. So, Greg, <laughs> out of all the ones we tried today, if you could only have one bag to finish mm. and call your own. Those. Hmm. I think for me, I think I like these. Mm. Mm. These are just so intense. A lot of flavor. Okay, so. That's it. We hope we you hope, enjoyed yeah. watching us. Watching us eat. I hope you were eating too. Because, you know, it's not a good thing to eat in front of people mm -hmm. when they're not eating. So, um. If you come to Mexico, we recommend that you experiment. Have your own little tour of Mexican chips and snacks. It's going to be fun. We're going to eat some more and we will see you in the next video. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and we'll see you again next Bye. week. It, it looks like a